Hi, my name is Marjorie Falls de Corayana, and I'm a professor in the Graduate School of Education and Information Studies at UCLA. I'm also the director of faculty for our teacher education program. I want to talk to you about my book, Translating Childhoods, Immigrant Youth, Language, and Culture. This book really began with my experiences as a teacher in central Los Angeles, and it draws together more than a decade of research, first in that same community and then in two communities in Chicago, focused on the work that the children of immigrants do as language and culture brokers for their families, the myriad of ways in which they use their knowledge of two languages to speak, read, write, listen, and do things for their families. But not just for their families. Children are making contributions to their schools, to their communities. They're helping their families to be consumers as they translate in stores. They're helping their families to be productive members of society. So in this sense, this is an important corrective against the predominant ways we think about children and the ways we think about immigrants. So often the focus on immigrants the relative costs and, and benefits of immigrants to society focuses on adults. And children are seen as just as a drain. They take from the education system without giving anything back. And what I show by looking at work, the work of kids like Estella is that this is not true. Kids are contributing in so many ways. They are, I watched Estella help her father fill out a credit card application, go with him to rent a musical instrument, go with him to Home Depot and purchase a computer. Uh, help her younger sisters with their homework, interpret at her own parent-teacher conferences, answer the phone, make appointments. Uh, I also watched as her responsibilities grew as she grew older and followed these kids over time, thinking about the skills that are involved and what they learn from both from participating in particular situations as well as accumulating these experiences over time what they learn in terms of language, but also what they learn about being valued members of a community. I think this book would be of interest to teachers, to social workers, psychologists, uh, service providers, people who are interested in learning about immigration and changing demographics in our country, and especially even to parents who, who might want to think about what children learn from different kinds of experiences of childhood, from being valued and productive members of society.